This Redstone missile is the center of world attention as Commander Alan B. Shepard, Jr. watches some final preparations before the United States attempts to put its first man into space. The 37-year-old Navy test pilot seems to be the calmest man of the hundreds involved in the launching as he walks to the elevator that will carry him 65 feet to the capsule. Hundreds of missiles have been launched from Cape Canaveral, but for the first time there is to be a man aboard just three weeks after the Russians say they orbited Yuri Gagarin around the Earth. While that flight took place in complete secrecy, there are hundreds of reporters here today to witness the flight of Commander Shepard. He gives the capsule a once-over with a test pilot's keen eye and gives a reassuring pat to standby astronaut Lieutenant Colonel John Glenn. It's his moment of destiny as he moves forward to the entry platform. It's 6.20 a.m., more than three hours to launching time, as his protective boots are removed and he prepares to take his place on the contoured couch in the capsule. Countdown is now approaching zero, and the tension is broken only by murmured prayers and quietly voiced hope. Two years of work, tests, and more work are climaxed with zero. The rocket performs perfectly as it lifts the funnel-shaped capsule gracefully along. Named the Freedom 7, the Mercury's vehicle could be released by either the pilot or ground control should something go wrong. But quickly the reports come back. Everything A-OK, -okay, A-OK. -okay. The burned out redstone separates and weightlessness begins for Shepard. As the escape tower is jettisoned and he reaches his top altitude of 115 miles. As he contacts the base, special cameras record his reaction, something the Russians either failed to accomplish or failed to reveal. He now takes over operation of the pitch and roll of the capsule, thus becoming the first man to pilot a space vehicle. Fiberglass absorbs heat as he faces backwards on re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. He then fires the retro rocket to slow the capsule's downward fall. At all times, he is in contact with ground bases, and 302 miles from takeoff, the space vehicle drops to the sea, where helicopters from the carrier Lake Champlain are poised for recovery. These remarkable pictures show Commander Shepard crawling from the Freedom 7 as the sling from the aircraft is maneuvered within his reach. It's clear he suffered no ill effects, though he endured a gravitational pull that made his weight seem like 1,600 pounds. This historic flight lasted only 15 minutes, but its telling effect on an electrified world is unprecedented. The proof was here for all to see that a democracy dares pioneer without secrets, dares defy failure without censorship. The capsule carried more than Commander Shepard along. It carried the bright banner of freedom. The astronaut walks jauntily from the helicopter. The victor returning from a conquest of the outer world. Exhaustive physical checkups that follow his return show no ill effect and raise hopes that the United States may orbit a man around the Earth before the end of the year. And that man will have to follow in the star steps of Alan Shepard.